This video from a toxicologist says everyone is lying to you about sunscreens being safe and it's getting a lot of views. There are a few valid points, aerosol sunscreens do have more potential risks, and other forms of sun protection are important. But her anti-sunscreen arguments aren't new, places like the EWG and Yucca have been talking about these for years. Lots of scientists have explained why they're not a big concern, not just me, but toxicologists like Moskin Lab and panels of very experienced toxicologists in official government reports. For example, she says retinol palmitate can actually promote skin cancer, she shows studies in mice from 15 years ago. These concerns were taken seriously, which is why a lot of experts analysed them and concluded these probably aren't relevant to humans. This is the official safety assessment used for EU regulations. It points out the mice used are much more prone to skin cancers, all the human evidence points towards retinoids being protective, another ingredient in the study causing tumours would explain the results better. I've covered sunscreen safety a lot, my PhD isn't in toxicology, although medicinal chemistry has a lot of overlap, but I collaborated with toxicologists to make these videos, and they are based on a wide range of sources written by toxicologists. Her opinions do not reflect the views of the wider toxicology community. This is why you should check the consensus of relevant experts, not just one or two. In every field there are experts with outlier opinions, and these people are the ones who tend to go viral, specifically because they are saying something unusual and unexpected. Plus, we all love the idea that we're getting the real goss. But reality is usually pretty boring. Sunscreens are regulated as drugs or special use cosmetics in most of the world. This means their safety is scrutinised and checked over and over and over again by tons of independent scientists, regulatory agencies and organisations that do not have the same vested interests. And this includes big companies who would love to throw each other under the bus if they had convincing evidence. 